Hey y'all, this is Gary Ian here from freeconquer.org and freekeen.com. Earlier today, my camera was stolen from me by two state police officers. They were in uh, plain clothes, so they were wearing a uh, tie, a nice shirt, and khakis. Um, just because they were dressed nicely doesn't mean they were acting nicely. Uh, one of the officers stole my camera and refusing to give it back, taking some of the tool that I use for the work that I do. They handed me this warrant, and this warrant they handed me is incomplete. It doesn't have an affidavit attached. It doesn't make any reference to the the incident in which they're citing to justify this theft. Um, there's so little accountability. We just stopped by the clerk of court's office at the district court. Uh, court. She refused to service me because our, our friend Jason Talley was recording. Um, I don't see how. I think that was a violation of my rights because I was there to do business and they refused to do business with me. I then went upstairs to Tom Mullen's office, which is who the state trooper Joseph T. DeRusso uh, said is the alleged victim in this case in his conversation with me. And in his office, they didn't know anything, uh, or not they didn't know anything, they didn't have this paperwork. They didn't have a copy of the paperwork that they supposedly filed. And she said, no, it was the uh, secretary of Mr. Mullen said, no, it was all Joseph DeRusso who filed that. You need to get it from him. And uh, shortly thereafter, Mr. Mullins came out of his office and shooed her away. He didn't want her talking to us. There's all video of that. You can check it out at Free Keen. So now we're at the state police headquarters in Keene, and I'm going to try and get the rest of this affidavit. Uh, you can hear my phone call with Mr. Uh, DeRusso. That'll be out there, too, where he, he claims that he knows nothing about it. He's not going to help me. And I told him, like, well, you're the last one. All the other bureaucrats have pointed me to you. So here we are. We'll see what we can get. Cool. They were waiting. How's it going? I was handed a search warrant by Joseph T. DeRusso earlier today, and it's incomplete. It references affidavits that are not included, so there's basically no. Um, it's, 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 well, this is a second piece of paper. It's four pieces of paper, and it cites an attached affidavit, and there's no attached affidavit. What's your name? Garrett Ian. Oh wow, it was waiting for me. Let's see. One piece of paper, two pieces of paper, three pieces of paper, four pieces of paper, no affidavit. And five pieces of paper, that's the receipt. So there's no affidavit. Um, is this all of the documentation that Mr. DeRusso has? Okay. And he has no nothing else? The ultimate runaround. Wow. Well, I encourage you to check out, I'm, I'm posting on freeteen.com everything that's happened to me today. I had my camera stolen earlier um, from the state police. They didn't provide me with the reasons for which my camera was taken. Just a search warrant, but the warrant doesn't say the incident. It doesn't say... That's probably Oh, well that's unfortunate, because I went to the clerk of the court. They refused to service me. I went to Mr. Mullins, who's I guess the alleged victim in this case, and his secretary said that she didn't have a copy of this paperwork. So, does this paperwork exist? Because it seems very incomplete. Hey, is Mr. DeRusso available? He's not. He's out on the road. Oh. We just spoke to him on the phone yeah. and he said he'd be he said here. He'd be here. Okay. He, he just left. There a, uh, a gray car parked at the, where it says Detective Sergeant. That's where he would be parked. So. Okay. Is this normal procedure for this sort of paperwork to be given without what yeah. some might consider the complete paperwork? There's no affidavit, there's no probable cause, there's no incident cited. There was a, that's a copy of the search warrant, the affidavit, and everything that... No, there's no affidavit. It says um, application, it says, it says see attached affidavit, yeah. and then you flip through it. This is not an affidavit. Have you checked with the court? Yes, and they refused to service me this morning. And they, um, when I talked to Mr. Mullins, uh, his secretary, the city attorney, she sent me... Tom Mullins is the city attorney for Keene, New Hampshire, and he is, according to Mr. DeRusso, based on his uh, verbal utterance to me, Mr. Mullins is the alleged victim in this case. Okay. But there's no incident cited. It doesn't say what I did or when I did it. it nothing. Okay. And the, clerk, the court didn't help me. Mr. Mullins didn't help me. They sent me back here, and they said Mr. DeRusso should have everything. Okay. DeRusso is not here. I can't help you. That's all that he left, I guess, for the dispatcher to give to you. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know much else to ask for. I mean, it's, I guess I'll file a motion with the court demanding or requesting that all this evidence be handed over, but... Sure. Cool. All right, well, thanks for at least having dialogue. All right. I'd encourage you to check out what's going on with this at freekeen.com. You know, think about it. Maybe talk to officers if you think they're doing the wrong thing, uh, not following procedure, et cetera. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Cool. Can I get your name, miss, for our records? No.
Well, is she not a public official? She's a civilian employee. Right, but she operates on money that taxpayers pay, correct? So, if you want to deal with us, that's fine. You don't have to bring anybody else in. Well, so your name is Scott M. Ellis, E-L-L-I-S. There you go. I don't see you all the time in court, so I'm the one that, that does the prosecution stuff. So. Sure. Okay? Um, all right. Well, have a good day. I hope the ridiculousness of this is pretty clear to y'all, because it's pretty clear to a lot of people that are seeing it. Okay. All right. I mean, have a good day. yeah, I, I will do my best as long as, you know, especially if people... Right, peop your, your business is done here. You can okay to leave. No, I understand. I'm just, I mean, while I have your attention, I guess I just, you know, share the my perception of this which is that uh you know my friend had his property stolen and he didn't do anything wrong there was no grounds for that that will be brought out in court well i mean if y'all i don't claim to know what y'all's mission statement is but i would assume it's to you know uh help protect people and property and and have integrity well, the same as yours when you were uh, in law enforcement was it well i mean what i'm trying to say is the actions that happened today don't really under, don't really support the mission that I think a lot of your colleagues and yourself maybe swore. Uh, Back when you were in law enforcement, do you remember why they did the search warrants and stuff like that? Oh, this isn't about me right now. Oh, okay. This is a conversation because my buddy was uh, had his rights violated today. Okay. So. All right. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. No, they still haven't taken this uh, stud camera in my pocket, the broken camera. So yeah, that, that wasn't very nice of Mr. DeRusso. He said he was taking it. Yeah, he took off. So welcome to the unaccountability that is your government if you if you uh believe in this ludicrous system.